Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. But now it's time for another episode of The Roundup. And I'm your host, David Cantu. So let's get to it. So let's just start off with what everybody's talking about. I cannot stop watching the trailer for Captain America Civil War. And it was quite a surprise to have Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. premiered on Jimmy Kimmel Live a couple of days before Thanksgiving. It was one of the most perfectly edited trailers that I've seen in a very long time. And hit all the right points as far as action and emotion goes. And we got a glimpse at a lot of footage, including our first official look at Black Panther, who looks amazingly awesome. War Machine's arc reactor being torn out. The friendship between Steve Rogers and Tony Stark crumble to pieces, and it ends with a brutal beatdown of Iron Man at the hands of Captain America and the Winter Soldier. That last scene is one that I'm not too sure how I feel about though. I mean it's fairly easy to dislike Tony Stark because of his cockiness, but as soon as he said those three words, so was I, the egomaniac completely went away and it turned purely emotional. And all of this ends up going down because the events in New York, Sokovia, and an incident that's rumored to involve Captain America, Scarlet Witch, and crossbones with an explosive vest. And that in turn causes the government to drop the hammer and create something that's called the Sokovia Accords. The Sokovia Accords is basically the Marvel Cinematic Universe's version of the Superhero Registration Act. What this will do is basically put in place a system of accountability and to create a council of sorts to determine when to call on the Avengers. I love the idea that they're taking a big film like this and making it feel so personal and emotional for a lot of the characters. We didn't get to see Ant-Man or Vision who are on Team Cap and Team Iron Man respectively. But I'm sure they're going to show up in the next trailer or so. The one thing that I cannot wait to find out is how is this going to impact the Avengers going into Infinity War? Will they stay divided or are they going to hug it out when the dust settles? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Well, who's ready to go Graboid hunting? Man, I don't know what the you just said, little kid. You remember Graboids, right? You know, from, from Tremors. Well, it looks like that franchise is getting a TV reboot with Kevin Bacon reprising his role from the first film. For those that are unaware of the films, Tremors was about giant worm creatures that traveled underground through the small town of Perfection, Nevada. This is one of those franchises that's definitely a guilty pleasure of mine. There's something about the evolution of these creatures that's fascinating to me. Except for the ones called Ass Blasters. Yes, you unfortunately heard that right. <laughs> It's still fairly early in the process and no network has been set, but I feel like this could be good for the series. There was a short-lived show before, but with Bacon returning this time around, I think this could give it just enough push to thrive. The only thing that has me reluctant about this is how many stories can actually come out of this before it starts to feel stale. I hope that they round up a good writing team and surprise the hell out of everybody. If all goes well, maybe we'll be seeing Tremors the series hit the small screen in fall of 2016. How many times have you seen the trailer for Captain America Civil War? Are you looking forward to a Tremors TV show? Let me know in the comments below. Pick a side to subscribe to this channel. Give us a thumbs up while you're there. And if you can't share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching another episode of The Roundup. We'll catch you next time.